Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at access control lists. Specifically within access control lists, or otherwise known as ACLs, we're going to be taking a look at extended ACLs. And what we're going to find out here is that extended ACLs, unlike standard ACLs, extended ACLs will give us the ability to match on more criteria such at criteria such as the destination IP address our subnet and also it's going to allow us to match different types of TCP and UDP traffic layer 4 traffic so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at a very simple lab here where we're going to have just two routers, router 1 and router 2, and what we're going to do is we're going to set up some extended ACL on router 2, and we're going to take a look at how to configure extended ACLs, how to to verify that the extended ACLs are actually working properly via show commands. So. Give me one second here. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to set up the two routers with the baseline configuration, and then we'll take a look at extended ACLs. Okay, so now that we have both router 1 and 2 up here, let's go ahead and configure them. We'll get router 1. They're both connected to each other via their fast Ethernet 00 interface. So let's go into router 1 and get it configured. We'll do IP address 172.16.12. One slash twenty four. Again, this is going to be the network that connects router one to router two. We'll go ahead and put the IPs in here for you guys to see. Also, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create our loopback zero interface on router one. We'll give it all ones as the IP, and then we'll give it a slash twenty four subnet mask. And then we'll go ahead and run a routing protocol in between here so we have reachability from the loopback interfaces between router 1 and router 2. We'll just do rip version 2. And so that should be enough baseline configuration on router 1 to get us up and running here. Let's go to router 2 now and get it configured. First we'll do the fast Ethernet 00 interface between router 1 and router 2 and we're going to give it the 2 IP address and a slash 24 subnet mask. Let's go ahead and configure the loopbacks now. We have loopback 2, 22, and 10. So let's go ahead and configure loopback 2 here first. We'll give it all 2's as the IP address and then we'll go ahead and do a loopback 22 interface. We'll give it all our 22, 22, 22, 22 as the IP address. We'll give it a slash 24 subnet mask. And then we will also do a loopback 10 interface here. And we will give it all 10s as the IP address with a slash 24 subnet mask. Next, we'll go ahead and configure RIP to run. 